Hi, this is Wendy. I hope you enjoy this video. I had fun making it. Hi, welcome to the Greenwood Elementary Library. It's brand spanking new. We just got it a couple of months ago. And here it is. As you walk in, there's a huge mural um, leading into the library, including a picture of our custodian when he was eight, shaking hands with a young African-American boy that uh, was bused to our school. And this was happening during the Louisville riots because of busing. Um, this won the Pulitzer Prize. So we're going to walk on into the library. Okay, here's the circulation desk. Looking pretty good. Have a few books to shelve, but not much. I'm going to walk you into the office. Our librarian is extremely organized, which I love. And uh, I kind of want to be like her, but I'm just not this, I'm not this organized. Um, so she's got all kinds of stuff in these cabinets for makerspace centers and literacy centers, things that she has gotten through donors choice, um, through grants and things that other schools have gotten rid of. And she said she would take them. Here's our computer area. Um, let's move over this way. We've got a listening center with these cute little chairs and they read their books on, on their level. Um, we've got a puppet and story time, storytelling center. Um, let's see. Kind of a reading nook back here. Remember, this is all brand, brand new. Love it. Uh, reading center here where they can read with a partner or they can read to their favorite stuffed animal. Um, our librarian has centers on each of the tables. They are either makerspace centers or they are literacy centers. Um, they're all over the room. Give you a quick look at those. And nice big windows area that have automatic shades, electric shades, which is cool. Um, lots of uh, seating, nice pillows and things like that. Um, here's where all the where the collection is. And the collection is designed or uh, organized by the cafe model, which I'd heard about but didn't know that much about, but I absolutely love it. I helped to make the posters. So uh, shelf one with horror, supernatural, mystery, and folklore, everything would be to the left. And the same with shelf three to the left. And then if you go to the other side of the library, Here's shelf two, and all those things are to the left. Um, but you can see some of the categories, occupations, film, all kinds of things. There are graphic novels galore. Lots of stuffed animals on the, on the tops of the shelves. Um, and then, you know, some of your big time favorite books like Dork Diaries, Unfortunate Events, um, Goosebumps, Harry Potter. That's how this is all set up. I love it. If, if and when I have my library, I would love to do cafe model. Absolutely love it. Um, well, I'm just going to kind of go all the way around. It's a nice big library. It's like umpteen times bigger than our old library. Umpteen. That's a word. Um, it's beautiful, and it's a great way to spend my 120 practicum hours working in this library. What a great place to be. And I have a great uh, cooperating LMS. So, some of the centers. Oh, we've got some literacy centers. Um, these are all makerspace, like Legos and things like that, that encourage um, just cooperation and social skills. Uh, Puzzles, got an art center, phonics and phonemic awareness center. There's just all kinds of great things going on in here. I'm not sure that everybody understands the importance of makerspace centers, um, 
but I'm starting to get it myself and I see why it's important to do. Um, really, that's about it. I don't know. Uh, these are some posters that I made up here of some of our staff that like to read and their favorite, um, their favorite children's books. And I think that's about got it. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. These are the photos that I took of office and library staff members with their favorite children's books. The following photos include book fair, some of me shelving, and the new Spanish language books I processed into the library. There is also a photo of posters that show how we organize the library into cafe model. For Black History Month, students completed these projects with my help. And here you'll see me reading to students in the library. The following several photographs are a combination of Makerspace After School Club activities or Makerspace centers during itinerant library hours. As you can see, the students are highly engaged. I helped to create and provide some of these activities. Somebody's got their hand up, so no pause. 